Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, day 21 of the War Boss Tay painting challenge and I've been busy once again painting the freehand um, on what is now approaching uh, the end of week three. So from yesterday's uh, video where I'd gone in and I basically just sketched out where the freehand was all going to go, um, I've now gone back over all of that and uh, I've finished the base coat of the freehand. Uh, so I just uh, basically just went over it, just tidying it all up, making it as square and as neat as I could. Um, I've also gone in and done the little extra dots that are on the Kazon text. Now, um, I know originally I wasn't actually going to do that, um, but um, I thought it would bring some extra detail to the text. Um, and also, I felt confident I could do it, which, to be fair, the first when I first thought about it, I thought I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Um, but uh, it all went really well. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so, let's have a closer look. So, I'm just going to zoom in um, at the back first, just on the radar, just there. So yeah, you can see from yesterday's video, it's all much bolder now and uh, a lot neater as well. And uh, like I said, with those little dots on, I think it just adds just that extra little bit of detail to it. Um, now that's obviously on the radar. I've also stuck the Ravager um, side section on. And in the end, I just painted one extra symbol on there. Um, my idea being that uh, Ravagers get four symbols, Raiders get three. Uh, Vipers get two and the Hellions get one symbol. So that was my sort of logic behind it. Plus I had to limit how much freehand I, I could do because obviously we're on a strict time uh, scale. So, you know, um, I still need to go in with the Troll Slayer Orange over the top of this, probably take a couple of coats uh, just to obviously bring that to my standard orange. Um, but that's that one. And just get the next one, which is just there. And uh, on the newer design radar, which is just there. Now, um, I did notice that I hadn't painted the back flag there. Uh, now, yesterday I was talking about this symbol that I painted, where I thought I painted it horizontally, because I painted it um, off of the boat. Uh, but when I <laughs> magnetised it on, it wasn't. It was actually at that sort of angle. So I painted the symbol on the flag to match that. So hopefully now the tank as a whole just sort of matches in quite nicely. Um, and I also painted the back as well. So let me just lock this off and I'll just turn it around. You've got to be very careful with these. They are quite fragile. Okay, so there you go. So yeah, I painted another symbol on the back flag and again, I sort of angled it to match that one. So that is how that's looking. Uh, then moving on to the Venoms. So three Venoms and uh, they've all got, again, different symbols. Uh, just tidying them up, really. That's that one at the back. And then we've got the Archon just there. So on his symbol on the flag, and get that to focus in, there you go. Just added those two little corner pieces as on the original text. And then just turn him around. There you go, just tidied up the other the other one as well. Uh, and then the Hellions, I think I'll go freehand for these because of how they're positioned. Um, but yeah, I just basically painted the Hellions. They've all got uh, different symbols. Like so. So, I am really, really happy, like I said. Um, I've still got a lot of work to do on this freehand though. As I said, I've got to go in um, and uh, basically just repaint everything again. Probably two coats, um, I'd imagine, with that um, Cholstay Orange. So, that is that. Uh, right, so let's have a look at today's question. So, day 21. Uh, if you could have a small creature as a pet or a companion from any miniatures, war game, or fictional universe, what would you want? A baby squig, um, a watcher in the dark, a Jawa, a grot, rigger. Uh, why would you choose it? Note, your tiny companion cannot come up higher than your waist in height, so no Wookiees. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't have pets. I'm not keen on pets. Um, I would probably decline to have one, to be fair. <laughs> so I would, I would opt to have no, no pet or companion. 
just me on my own. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today's update. Uh, so tomorrow is end of week uh, three, uh, the last day of week uh, three. So uh, we'll see what I can achieve on the last day and then we'll have a look at what is in store for week four. Thanks for watching.